So Tonar 12 piece acoustic RGB panels. This is what it looks like. I'm going to tell you the pros, the cons, what you should do if you are thinking about picking this up and the whole process and what I think about this, I guess, aesthetically a pleasing addition to your setup. And it's only like 50, 60 bucks. Let's talk about it. Hello everyone, my name is Squid Edge Joe. And in today's video, I wanna go ahead and say that I purchased this with my own money. There's a six pack version, a 12 pack version. I opted obviously for the 12 pack version. Uh, Tonar did not send this out to me. I have worked with Tonar in the past on a microphone review that I wasn't really pleased with. And ever since then, they've only messaged me once again about something possibly in the future doing something. This is breaking grounds. And I did reach out to Tonar for, and I wanted, this in, I wanted them to send me two sets of them so I can use them for a video. They never responded. So I decided to go out and buy it with my own money and to see um, if it was actually worth it to tell you guys about because I was looking for something similar or wherever one day about acoustically possibly treating um, the wall behind my YouTube setup right here and the wall behind my uh, streaming setup to make uh, to cut down a little bit on the echo and making everything sound a little bit better. I settled on sound blankets before I saw these pop up when I was looking and I was like, hmm, that's interesting. RGB and acoustic panels. And I was like, is there any other? And I will say previously in, the, I mean, I would say later on in the video that there was only one other company out there and they were charging like a hundred bucks for their really bad version of something like this. Um, so that's all I saw on Amazon. So obviously I went ahead and picked these up for myself and building them and everything. Um, I was a little worried at first that the self adhesion on the back of the panels before you go, I know self adhesion or wherever you're worried about damaging the walls, but I will say, I think what Tonar did here was actually really good. Um, the adhesive that's on the back of it doesn't seem like it's going to rip anything off the wall, wherever. Um, I don't know what type of adhesion they're using here, but it does seem like it's one of those cheaper ones. And I understand what people are going to say it's cheaper. So it's going to eventually fall off the wall. I would say it's not going to, but if you're one of those people who are like me, who have mental disabilities, so you're constantly moving stuff around or wherever, and it's really hard for you to keep cable stuff, cable managed or stuff hanging on the wall. And you're looking for different aesthetics or wherever, and you're like in a different mood today. So you want, you know, this moved over there and that moved over there. And then like a couple of days later, you move it back. If you're one of those people, then this is not going to work for you because I can tell you right now, like I said, the cheapness on the adhesion or wherever I could see you taking it off and putting it back on multiple times, it's going to eventually lose its uh, stickiness or wherever the substance. Um, so again, when you're putting them on the wall, don't press too, too hard. So it is easier later on down the road if you decide to move apartments, move houses or wherever, and you're renting to own, you don't have to worry about ripping paint or ripping anything off the wall when you take them off. I would say in comparison to the Govi hexagon panels that are like 200 something, even with those little command strips that they have themselves or wherever to stick on the back, um, I have ripped multiple paint off the walls or wherever on this side of the room. Um, so I'd already know I'm about to pay for those and those are 200 something dollars. So take from that what you will. So when you're purchasing this and you're deciding to purchase it, because I do recommend this, if you are looking for something like this to spice up your setup, um, go ahead and keep in mind that you're going to want to buy a separate LED strip, um, maybe something from Walmart, like the Walmart LED strip or wherever, even though it won't have as much customization as the one that comes with Tonar but it'll be, I don't want to say safer, but it will be better for you as far as cutting down and heat in the room. Again, and we'll get that later in the video. And um, you can go ahead and get more DIY options if you use a Gobi LED strip. As you can see up here, I have these on the ceiling in multiple rooms in the uh, apartment or the duplex that I rent. Um, so I had a spare one that used to be on these bookshelves down here. So when I moved it or wherever, I didn't put them down there anymore. So I went ahead and put it in here and I think it looks fine. It's just that I didn't cut it to length. So it has like a little tail that's running down or whatever, because those LED strips are like 50 bucks and I don't feel like cutting a $50 LED strip, even though I can and do it safely and it's fine. I don't feel like cutting to length because there's no telling in the future. Like I said, mental disabilities, moving stuff around, 
so I might end up adding more to this wall from Tonar because I'm thinking about buying another one. That's how much um, I'm impressed with this. Um, getting to the sound aspects of it, I don't know. They advertise these as acoustic panels. Everybody has their own feelings about these cheaper, I would say, uh, acoustic panels. Most people say a pack of two that costs over a hundred and something dollars is going to get you more as far as sound goes. Um, a lot of people say stuff like this, you would need like a whole wall of or your whole room just covered all four walls covered. You got to get your ceiling. You got to have carpet on the floor or get your or get your floor or whatever. You got to get base traps in the corners and stuff. Find the little sections in your in your room or wherever to deaden the noise even more. I, I'm not a sound expert, you know what I'm saying? But I do know that in this room, it's not aesthetically uh, sound treated. So there are big blank walls like the wall behind my setup, the wall over here behind my streaming setup or wherever. And even this wall is still blank. And even though I put stuff on the wall that I'm going to in the future, it's not sound treatment. So again, it's up to you if you believe, you know, all that rigmarole it, It's just up to you. But aesthetically looking at it and everything, I am extremely happy with this. But I will say and I'll try to get closer ups. You can probably even see right here that black line right there. That's the panels when you put them on the wall. And even though I use like different levelers and stuff like that, there's just one of them that's still on the desk um, to make sure that everything was even not crooked and all that stuff. I still notice gaps after I put them on. I even test the design on the floor to see like how close I can get them and what kind of thing I was going to go with um to build off of if like i said in the future i decide to get more um and then once i put them on the wall the actual diffusion stuff or wherever that covers the led strips uh i noticed that there's just gaps and you know what i'm saying that's just machining that's just it's not much you can really do wherever um because of how it's built whereas when the govi hexagon panels are put together wherever they're really flat they're not, you know, something that you take off and you put something in and then you put it back on. So, you know what I'm saying? It's not, it's, it's going to fit more perfectly and snug or wherever you're not going to have gaps and stuff where something like this, you're, you're, it's expected to happen. You know what I'm saying? So it's not going to be perfect. So if something like a little aesthetically, like little gaps and stuff like that bothers you, then that's something you might want to change in the future or just not get it at all. But like I said, like even right now, you can't really tell it's there. And it's just like a backdrop accent, uh, accent piece. It's not going to bother me that much. So let's go ahead and I guess jump into what I recorded earlier um, when I actually finished setting everything up. Um, and hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, so I am finally, finally done. All right, so there's a couple of things that I've noticed by putting up these panels. Um, I started doing this around 1250 as far as putting the LED strips into the panels. I had to take a little break because my son woke up and I was supposed to be watching him right now. So I have him pulled up literally on my phone in front of like the camera or wherever to make sure he doesn't wake up. Um, he woke up after I put the panels on uh, on the wall. And now my wife's about to take over wherever. So I have to let her know when he wakes up. But I came back into the room at I would say 1221, 1223, something around there. Cause I looked at it on my phone or whatever to make sure the camera was working so I could see him. And my wife was in the bedroom with him. Um, and I noticed that, you know, like I said, it was like 1220, 1221, 1223, something like that. And then now when I started recording this segment, it was about 1250. Um, that's how long it took me to fit the Gobi strips inside those panels. And um, what I noticed when I came back here to this desk, because I accidentally left the Tonar LED strip or whatever that comes with the panels on the desk, they are hot. Like, it's hard for me to even pick up or whatever these LED strips, they're, they are like extremely hot to the touch. Um, so what I would suggest is uh, going with even the power brick itself it seems hot. Um, what I would suggest is not using these LEDs. Um, I can literally feel the residual heat from this distance. It's literally on the desk and it's like, I could feel the heat even with me taking off like the, the power brick, wherever off my little power surge protector or whatever. And I took it off. I can feel the heat like leaving my direction or cause the heat was, that's kind of, that's kind of worrisome. 
um because you're gonna have these on on the wall wherever and obviously you're not gonna leave them on 24 7 but if you have like a pc you have other stuff in your room and stuff like that um especially if you're a content creator where this is kind of geared towards people who play video games a lot of rgb lights all that stuff or wherever um i can tell you right now i've never had any led strips even from the ones from walmart i have used them in certain uh different locations and stuff like that throughout my setup as i upgraded into gobi lights and stuff even those ones from walmart which are ten dollars um even the newer ones from walmart wherever because i put them in different places around my house or wherever um they're not even this hot they don't even get this hot I have one that sits on the back of one of my monitors or wherever to add a little extra glow um, and a portion that's kind of missing it wherever from the Gobi light bars. Um, and I could touch the back of my monitor even right now. And that LED strip has literally been on before I even moved my setup around or wherever. And that setup has been there for months. And I never once touched the back of my monitor and felt the heat coming off the LED strips like that. And like I said, they're like 10 maybe $12 or something like that at Walmart. Whereas this coming in bundled in the acoustic panels or wherever, that amount of heat on top of that with the panels being self uh, adhesive, um, it makes me wonder is the residual heat from these LEDs going to make that, uh, I would say, adhesive individually fall off the wall or wherever and lose a stickiness because of how much heat um, that you're running through certain portions or wherever of the hexagon panels because as you can see it's running through wherever and just making a design um, with the Gobi strips so what I would say is that are these panels worth it yes but what I would say is replace the LED strip as fast as possible um, it's not like I'm not worried about it causing like a fire hazard or something like that that, that I, I don't think it's that extreme but if it's that warm to the touch and like i said once i unplugged it from my little charger wherever that sits on my desk to test certain things like this um i was wondering why my room was getting kind of hot i do have a lot of lights wherever on right now but i was still wondering and uh because it never really gets this hot uh on a side note of the tonar led strip it does say on the package i'm sorry for the crinkling but uh it does say on the package as far as warnings and taking care of wherever and cautions um, it says the strip should not be coiled or crushed or anything like that. Coiled meaning it shouldn't be on the thing. So some people might say, you know, it's because it was hooked up to a power source and coiled. But if the LED strips are getting that hot to the touch. Now, mind you, when I was setting this, these lights up, they're coiled too on two separate coils. So while I was going around the room with one, the other you know one was coiled i hooked them all to power sources and did each room uh individually at the same time i would say so i finished one room moved on to the next one had them all synced up and everything forced form firmware while i was doing all of it and even when i got to the last room which is my living room which has multiple different led ships going around the room and they were all plugged in while i was putting them up none of them burned or burnt my hand hot to touch wherever and again they were on their own little spool um, so again, the, the heat is just kind of, it's kind of weird. So I would say, do your research, find some LED strip or whatever that's nice and thin, uh, kind of like how these are, um, as you can see, probably a little bit better. I'm sorry, that's getting picked up in the mic because it's unspooling itself, but you can see they're not really that thick, whereas Gobi strip is wider and, um, a little bit thicker because the silicone that goes on top of the Gobi LED strip is a little bit thicker. Whereas this one's almost to the point to where the LEDs, individual LEDs themselves are exposed, which they're not, there's just, that's how it is. So I don't know what's causing, like I said, the amount of heat or whatever, and advertently, like I said, the Gobi strips don't do that. Um, so overall, what I would say to improve this, uh, Tonar, if you're listening, um, is make the channels a little bit deeper or wherever um, or open them up just a little bit wide enough for us to put our own LED strips inside of the panels. Um, other than that, I'm not sure if these are actually going to, you know, do anything for sound or anything like that. Um, as advertised, I think that you actually really need, uh, depending on the material and everything that's made out of, you're going to need multiple like different segments and walls and like base traps and like all that stuff or whatever. But overall, if you have like a blank space, like over here, 
or on that other wall that you see over there that I'm gonna put with a, I would say um, a curtain wall or wherever of from Govi or something like that. If you have a blank space, this might do something because um, it does feel like a decent, nice enough material, especially for the price point. Um, and the acoustic panels, like I said, it might do something. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not one of those people that know about that kind of stuff. Um, but I can tell you from the feel of a product and based on the price and what you get, I do think that these are worth the price. It's just the LED strips need to be swapped out. These Gobi hexagon panels or wherever, they cost like 200 um, and they're probably the cheapest one that gives you a whole bunch of customizations that is out there right now. Whereas you can pick up one of these LED strips from Gobi for like 40 bucks between 40 and 50 bucks uh, at Walmart or something like that, or even on Amazon or Govee's website themselves, they might go on sale and you can even get it picked up for cheaper or wherever, like 40, 30 bucks or something like that for this small LED strip footage, uh, as far as like feet or wherever wise, and then get the hexagon panels or wherever for like, get the six pack or even the 12 pack or wherever for about 50, 60 bucks or wherever. And even then, you might for around a hundred dollars have at least a decent looking somewhat i would say hexagon piece um whereas you know you get the smaller hexagon panels or whatever from different companies but you have to get add-on packs or whatever to cover a surface area like this because if you would think about it how many of those little hexagon pieces would you need to cover a surface area like that when i just have 12 of them and i paid 60 bucks you know what i'm saying so it's I would definitely say it's worth it again tonar if you're listening i purchased with my own money i think this is a win this is going to get in a seal of approval with the asterisk this is going to be I, I believe my third seal of approval i've ever done as far as giving uh to products or whatever and this is the first this is the second one that it's from a company that i purchased with my own money this one i can't give glowing reviews enough of this this is actually really really cool and when I was looking for something unique like this on Amazon, this and another companies was the only one to show up. The, again, I think they're in heading in the right direction. If they want to improve on this design, again, make the the actual diffusion or whatever that goes on that you put the LEDs in, uh, make that thicker so it softens the light again, so you don't see these individual things. Because again, I tested even with your own strip that you gave, and the LED hot spots were still there. Um, change out this strip, you know what I'm saying? Or come with the option that's a little bit, a couple bucks cheaper or whatever that doesn't have an RGB strip and allow us to put our own RGBs in and make the channels just a hair wider. And then on top of that, have other color options um, to go on the wall because it looks nice on my wall right now. You know what I'm saying? It looks nice on my wall because the color of the wall. But for people who want different color as far as in their space, maybe they want uh some black ones or maybe a blue one to fit in aesthetic wherever it'll be nice to see that in the future but i think what tonar did with this was just testing the waters a little bit um but overall the building and setup wherever it didn't really take me that long it was more so because i brought my own led strip and i had to force them in a wherever in the little sections or wherever because they're the channels are really really thin so again Leave, leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's probably like all over the place, but again, watching my son, trying to record videos, doing product reviews and stuff like that. It's been, it's been a trying time. And then at the end of the year, trying to get stuff out. So again, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Y'all take care. Have a squirtastic day. I will see you guys in the next video. God bless you and yours. Deuces, everybody. Tonar, you did knock it out of the park with it. It's just the LEDs, but you, this, this is what I'm talking about. This is innovation. This is pushing content creation and stream aesthetics and room aesthetics or whatever in the right direction. Because like I said, there ain't no other company really doing anything like this or whatever at this price point. It's amazing, man. Amazing.